Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Mitch. Good Sunday morning to you all. Hope you guys are doing well out there, feeling well, and having a fantastic start to your day and a great weekend out there so far, especially for you moms. Happy Mother's Day. You certainly are loved and appreciated. And uh, what you do and the impact that you make certainly needs to be celebrated. And I certainly hope it is for you all out there, all you moms, and uh, the unconditional love that you all radiate out to each and every one of us certainly is loved and appreciated and uh, I hope you guys have a special day hopefully it's not just a day it's a weekend it's been a weekend uh, but just want to put that out there certainly um, just want to say that for any mom that's viewing I hope you certainly feel special this morning because you certainly deserve to feel special because you are special so let's get rolling let's talk about the weather for your day today uh, water vapor loop out there and I just totally skipped the whole part if you guys have not subscribed um, definitely consider subscribing. Like the video if you like. And if you guys got anything that I can pray about or pray over, as always, please put it in the comments below. We do have a chance for some strong to severe storms today. I don't think it's going to be active as the last few days. But I'd say well, yesterday produced a lot of tornadoes in Iowa. The day before that produced a lot of tornadoes in Nebraska. But the leftover of this spin really isn't much of a spin anymore. It has plowed right into this ridge of high pressure up here. But you still got a lot of moist air that's right over the central and eastern U.S. And you got a lot of rain activity down here in southeast Texas. And, I mean, you have showers and storms scattered throughout the central and eastern U.S. even this morning as you're waking up. But if you look at this area where it's moving in from the south, moving to the north, and then it kind of turns, and then you got all these clouds and moisture that be begins to surge out the northwest, southeast, this is because there's a ridge of high pressure right into here. And all this energy just gets kind of shunted back south, the drier up here in the Canadian high, bringing in, uh, basically pushing the directional flow back south. So that's kind of what's going on. If you actually look at what it looks like on the surface as of now, you're waking up to a very rainy morning in Minneapolis and most of Wisconsin, very heavy rain falling in uh, areas of northeast Iowa, another rainy morning for the Houston area. And I uh, heard someone say that out of all the storm chances you guys have had over the last few days in the Dallas-Fort Worth area that you haven't really seen much rain out of it, but looks like you got some rain creeping into the area this morning. Got a little bit of rain in northeast North Carolina and the uh, area of showers and storms working its way out of Indiana into Kentucky and Tennessee this morning. And we'll watch this area later today and see if any more showers and storms rejuvenate. And then we even watch the Carolinas and areas of the deep south for scattered showers and storms. But as far as severe weather today, the biggest threat level will be right here in areas of the Midwest and the Mississippi Valley. <clears throat> St. Louis, Evansville, uh, southern Illinois, areas of western Kentucky. Even, you know, watch out down the Nashville. You guys have a marginal risk of severe weather. But the biggest risk for this for today, there is a tornado threat. There's a 2% risk of a tornado within 25 miles of any given location. And the slight risk does include St. Louis, southern areas of Illinois. Wind threat, you got that 15% risk. And if you don't know what the criteria for that is, that is a 15% risk of winds pushing 50 knots or higher. That's around 55 to 60 miles per hour within 25 miles of any given point. Hell threat, not that high today, but you can't rule it out. You know, somebody will see hell today, but just a 5% risk of hail pushing one inch in diameter or larger in this region. Flooding risk is ongoing down here near the Houston area. I know I don't I haven't heard of any massive ongoing flooding right now, but certainly, you know, showers and storms will continue in this area. Probably won't be as widespread as they are right now, but yeah, they could still redevelop. Moderate risk, that's at least a 40% chance of flash flood guidance being met. So flooding will easily be obtained today just because of all the rain you've got. And then there's a slight risk of flooding up here, 15% risk, same criteria. In areas of uh, northeast Kansas, central and uh, north central Missouri, and then southwest Illinois. So be careful with a lot of rain that could fall in these areas today. Let's talk about the southeast. Um, we do have some showers ongoing in northeast North Carolina this morning. And then as we get to just after lunchtime, if you're confused at what time frame we're at, look right here, back it up one hour if you're in central time. We'll get this rolling. Here comes the showers and storms firing off the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. <clears throat> this could bring some showers and storms possible for the Greenville-Spartanburg area. Voice keeps cracking, guys, so if I have to clear my throat, I do apologize. Um, you, you could, you should, 
<clears throat> have some showers and storms that could be ongoing along the coastal regions of the Carolinas. At the same time, you could have some showers and storms that fire off kind of the eastern slopes of the Appalachian Mountains in North Carolina. These will continue to kind of drift and maybe more convection will be ongoing and drift southeast from the northwest throughout the Carolinas. And like I said, you could have your own area of showers and storms near Wilmington, Myrtle Beach, maybe all the way down to Charleston, Savannah, later throughout the afternoon hours of daytime heating. And then you see numerous, I wouldn't say numerous, but you see definitely scattered in nature showers and storms uh, that could pivot around this ridge of high pressure that is built into this region. And if you notice, you got the rain coming in from this way. And then you got the moisture swinging back through here, coming in from this way. So I stop it here. It's around 7, 8 p.m. this evening. You got showers and storms kind of isolated to scatter in nature in Missouri. And then we got a complex of storms that are just going to probably bring severe weather in this region. We'll zoom in on this region later in the video. But uh, definitely widely scattered showers and storms for anybody today. And we'll zoom into some of these areas, the Carolinas, Georgia, and Virginia. Boom, they pop up. Cumberland Plateau, Southern Kentucky, the Valley of Tennessee, Eastern Tennessee. It's going to be hard to know exactly who gets hit. If you're not getting hit, chances are the sun's out and it's very warm. It's kind of a summer type flow out here. But I would say the highest chance for showers and storms is going to be in the mountains of North Carolina, Tennessee, and the foothills in the upstate and just western sections of North Carolina will stand the best chance for showers and storms just after uh, lunchtime developing and then lasting throughout the afternoon and you know probably continuing through the evening and then these trail off and weaken um, but the rest of the deep south today here it is bang shower storms develop around 4 to 5 p.m southern missouri uh, north northeast arkansas mississippi very isolated in nature down here because you're right under the influence of high pressure so i would say if anything develops in mississippi today anywhere it's going to be very slow moving. It could dump a lot of rain at you on one time and then it'll just probably weaken because you have a lot of sinking air in this region because a ridge of uh, area of uh, high pressure is right over the region. So you don't have much directional flow around this, especially if you're right on the high pressure. But you see these pulse up and then by the time you're at 8, 9, 10 p.m., they pulse back down. So, you know, very isolated in nature. It's kind of one of them days where you might only have a 20% chance of storms here in the deep south, Alabama, Tennessee, areas of Georgia, Mississippi. But, you know, that 20% chance could turn to 100% chance quick sometime this afternoon. So the northeast today, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot to speak on whatsoever. I'm sorry to only give you guys 15, 20 seconds of air time. But you could have some showers that kind of drift and you're waking up to Monday morning in areas of southern Ohio and Indiana and northern Kentucky over here. But the south central U.S., you know, you're dealing with a lot of rain this morning. More rain could develop down here. And this is when you got to watch out for a flooding threat down here and southeast portions of Texas, uh, you know, well south of the Dallas-Fort Worth area, College Station region. Uh, certainly needs to watch out. You know, even Houston, you could have more showers and storms than what's showing right here, Corpus Christi area. And you got norm uh, numerous showers, storms developing in this region. But I would say the severe weather threat with these is not going to be as high as it's been over the last couple of days. But you certainly are going to have widely scattered showers, storms out there uh, for a good portion of the afternoon, anywhere from Kansas down to Oklahoma to eastern Texas. Expect a pretty decent chance of storms to be firing up. And then we look at Missouri, definitely got some storm action up here. Watch out for some of these to produce a quick spin up. And if you look at this area right into here where you have a pretty decent Northwest flow set up, this is where I wanna watch for some, some, some more intense storms a little bit later today. Southern Illinois, St. Louis, uh, maybe even the Boot Hill, Missouri. Um, into Western Kentucky later in the evening, you'll watch a kind of i would say a line of storms that sweep through through the late evening into the overnight hours in this region and then i would say later overnight tonight the wee hours in the morning watch out northeast kansas southern i'm sorry northern missouri sometime well after midnight it could get real stormy showers some heavier rain up in this area but not expecting a huge threat of severe weather one to two inches of rain is possible um, maybe three inches of rain 
in these areas. I would say somebody gets two to four inches of rain in this area of Texas today. So be aware of that. Flooding can kind of come up quick. You guys have already seen a lot of rain, but you know, you see how it's a little splotchy in nature. That really tells us that hey you know the storms are going to be really splotchy in these regions so it's going to be hard to nail it down it's a tough day to nail down storms but we'll certainly try to do our best north central u.s we'll talk about the severe weather threat in more a more zoomed in feature here in a second but you're dealing just with slow moving kind of stationary area a shield of rain this morning in northern I'm sorry, in southern, well, northern Iowa, southern Minnesota. I think that this will kind of break up later today. And then this area will kind of move this way, and this area will move that way. Some showers will kind of continue throughout the afternoon and evening hours in northern Nebraska. Some storms are possible in north, I'm sorry, in southeast Nebraska, uh, southwest Iowa, northwest Missouri, all these directions. And then we'll watch for this area of storms that get going that gets going down here where you will have a small tornado threat and we'll zoom into this region and uh, the rest everybody up here is under the influence of high pressure so up of michigan uh you know northern i think northern areas of wisconsin i think you guys you know are going to be in the clear by the time you get into later this afternoon but the storms today in this portion of the country bang they fire up quick right you know this is about 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., bang, storm development. Watch out western sections of Illinois, northern Missouri. Big storms could fire up. Um, I would not rule out a tornado at all, especially with the way that this these pieces of energy have behaved. So please be aware of any tornado warnings to get issued. Remember, a watch and a warning is different. A watch is conditions are favorable in a very wide area. Warning means it's a, there's a tornado either radar indicated, which does not mean it's confirmed, or either it is confirmed, which means it's observed, they see it, or they say a damaging tornado is occurring, which means they have confirmed that a tornado is on the ground causing damage. So, you know, there's a difference between all these things. Um, some people don't know the difference between a tornado watch and a warning, um, but you really should know the difference because there's a big difference. But anyways... Storms make their way central Illinois, northern Missouri. These storms begin to sweep down, and I would watch out the entire central the southern half of Illinois throughout the afternoon, evening hours. These storms will sweep through, and we'll watch the intensity level of these throughout the evening, overnight hours. And what's left over of this will kind of cruise into western Kentucky well after midnight, and then eventually into Tennessee, and then weaken. But the updraft of Listy Swath does indicate a little bit of uh, rotation with some of these storms so that's why you need to just be careful no outbreak of tornadoes i don't think is going to happen today notice i said i don't think because i wasn't expecting as many tornadoes in iowa as there was yesterday but you know there was a lot so be aware in illinois areas of eastern missouri st louis area watch out this section right here could get a couple tornadoes today would not be surprised temperatures today very warm all the way up to the nose of this high pressure 80s everywhere, basically from southeast Nebraska, southern Iowa, point south, southeast, where you're under the influence of a upper ridge of high pressure down here. Cooler in the northeast, 60s and 50s. Rain, cooled air in this area right here. If you're not getting rain, it'll warm up into the 60s and 70s. If you are getting rain, you will struggle to get out the 50s. For example, in southern Minnesota, and then northern Iowa, then areas in Nebraska will be much cooler today. But widespread 70s, I'm sorry, 80s and 90s down here in the deep south, it'll feel more like summer. You'll definitely be able to jump in the pool this afternoon. Just watch out for them afternoon thunderstorms later on. That's all I got. I'll give you an update on what's to come this evening, kind of talk about the week in general. God bless all y'all. Have a great Mother's Day, a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.